One of the quickest ways to create your style of motion graphics is by using textures and grains. You can take a normal animation like this and turn it into this. So in this After Effects tutorial, Jordan's gonna show you five ways to use textures and grains to help you create your style in motion graphics. And before we jump in, be sure to smash that like button. It helps us out tremendously in making these videos. Uh, and now I'm gonna hand it over to Jordan and we'll talk about some textures and grains. Before we get started, if you wanna follow along with the video, you can get the project files for this tutorial in the description below. So the first thing we're gonna do is import our textures and create a sequence of textures to overlay on our background layer for this paper effect. So the first thing we're gonna do is import an image sequence into After Effects to use as our background. Here we have our folder labeled Paper Texture, and inside we have four images. Label these images from one to four, just like this, with whatever textures you like. Then, when you drag and drop the folder into After Effects, it imports as an image sequence like this. And once that's done, the first one we're going to use is this Paper Texture sequence. Start off by dragging the paper textures onto the timeline above our background layer, then set its mode to Multiply. If you don't see the Modes dropdown, click the Toggle Switches and Modes button at the bottom of the screen. Next, press S to adjust the scale of the texture and increase the scale until it fills out the composition. So as it is now, this texture sequence is 4 frames long, 1 frame for each image. What we want to do is stretch that out, so right click it, select Time, enable Time Remapping, then drag out the layers so that it fills out more of the timeline. Then take the second keyframe and drag it out a bit. I put mine at the 12th frame, and we have four textures each, so each one will appear for three frames at a time now. Next, hold down the Alt key and click the stopwatch for Time Remap, and type in Loop Out with a capital O, open parentheses, close parentheses. And now you have this cool papercraft background sequence to start off your composition. Next, we're going to add an adjustment layer to apply a noise effect over our whole composition. Start by going to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. Make sure it's always at the top of your layer list. We'll rename it to Noise. Highlight it, then go up to Effect, Noise and Grain, Noise HLS. Set the noise type to Grain, Lightness to 10%, grain size to around 0.15, then alt-click the stopwatch for noise phase and type in time asterisk 1000 into the expression controls box to animate the noise. Now you can see our composition has this rough grain static over it that adds even more texture to all of our different layers. Noise and grain can be applied to a multitude of different compositions to add some texture and movement quick and easily. If you like the graphics in this video, be sure to check out our Motion Graphics Advanced Pack. It features over 750 templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro to help enhance your projects and make them stand out. With our easy to use extension, all you need to do is find a graphic you like and click apply. Once it's out on the timeline, you can use our simple control layers to customize the graphic to fit your needs. And just like that, you have an awesome custom composition to use in your projects. Check out the link in the description below or visit sondafilm.com for more details. Next, we're going to add a few more texture overlays to our composition to add even more depth. We'll take one of our image textures and one of our video textures and put them above our background but below the noise layer. We'll make sure that the textures are scaled up to cover the entire screen. Then, we'll set the mode of our image texture to multiply and the mode of our video texture to screen. Multiply and screen modes are opposites of each other. Multiply is subtractive, so it will mix in the colors and darken the layer, like mixing it in with our yellow background. And screen is additive, so it mixes in the light colors, that way we can see the white particles of the video texture over the composition. Next, we're going to apply a texture to our text layer, and this is super simple. All we need to do is put a texture layer above the text layer, we're going to scale it down so it's just a bit bigger than the text vertically, then go up to Effect, Stylize, Motion Tile. Increase the output width until it covers the whole title, enable Mirror Edges, then set the track mat for the text layer to Luma Inverted Mat. You can also just increase the size of the texture layer so that it covers the whole title, but using Motion Tile to extend it allows the finer details of the texture layer to be seen. And now our text layer has its own unique texture, separate from the background. The final thing we'll do is add a rough grain to a shape layer for us to add around the composition. 
Here we have this basic circle burst graphic, and what we're going to do is select the pen tool, then click to create a shape that passes through the shape layer diagonally, like this. Next, go to Effect, Stylize, Roughen Edges, and in the Effect Controls panel, set the border to 500, Scale to 10, and Complexity to 10. Now duplicate the circle burst layer, put the duplicate above our grain layer, then set the track mat of the grain layer to alpha mat. Now you should see the grain overlaid onto the shape layer as this fuzzy looking gradient. You can move the layer around or change the shape to get it to look exactly how you want. And now you have this nice textured accent graphic to add to the composition. With all of these techniques combined, you have this awesome multi-textured composition using a few really simple techniques. So by using textures and these types of effects, you can help create your style. Of course, there's many techniques out there that go into creating and improving your work inside of After Effects. So be sure to download these project files to give you a jump start. You can also download some of our templates for Adam X for absolutely free. Those links will be below, get some free templates. Uh, but other than that, hit that subscribe button. We post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit us up on our Instagram. We have other After Effects content on there as well. And always, be creative.